Simon. You got a pen? Simon's my right hand man. Having one of those is important. I mean, what do you have left without him? A whole lot of work. Why the face? I hope you're not putting this on us. Well, we showed your people a way forward. We gave you rules. You broke the rules, so folks had to die. The one who fired the first shot, we strung him up to make an example of him. Could have stopped there. But you people still didn't listen. He wanted to fight us. So this is how it has to be. This is us about to make an example out of you. He's someone who was with a whole lot of someones who didn't listen. We can make a deal. That's right. We can. Give us all your stuff. We'll probably have to kill one of you. That's just the way it is. But then we can start moving forward on business. All you have to do is listen. Sorry. My deal is the only deal. We don't negotiate. OK, friend. Plenty of ways to get to where you're going. No, but that is a good thing to bring up. Think about it. What if it's the last day on Earth for you? For someone you love? What if that's true? Maybe you should be extra nice to those people in that RV, because you never know. Just like that. Be kind to each other. Like you said. Like it was your last day on Earth. You're treating your people good, right? Like it was your last day on Earth? Or maybe one of theirs? better go. It's gonna get hot. You go get where you're going. You made it. Welcome to where you're going. We'll take your weapons. Now. We can talk about We're it. We're done talking. Time to listen. It's yours, right? Yeah. It's yours. All right. We got a full boat. Let's meet the man. Simon. What do you have? A knife? He had a hatchet. A hatchet? An axe. Simon. You got a pen? Yeah. We need to talk. And it's getting a little claustrophobic in here, right? Our brothers and sisters in arms and operation, they've been removed from the field of play. It means we need to talk! Wow. Just wow. I think they got spoiled working with a guy like you. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. I think they might have got a little soft. Yeah. <laughs> or got them butchered, I imagine. But they're dead? Very, very dead. Extremely dead. <laughs> Any hitches in the giddy app I should be aware of. Scotch. Well, 
Not just hate the stuff. Tastes like uh, ashtrays and window cleaner. I'm a gin man. Sorry, I shouldn't ask. You want to slide that one back in? Period. Can I just get a meal out of you? That's a solid meal, Gregory. Remember that for next time. We got ourselves a red situation. I need a search party. See if Daryl ran home like the dumb animal that he is. On it. Be there in time for lunch. Turn that sleepy little bird upside down. Rick! Hello? And... Hello again. Uh, but then your son showed up. Daryl went missing. Might those two things be connected? Now, everyone find a buddy. Gonna have to follow us around. If he's here, we really need you all to see him die. Wow. These are some bare shelving units. You guys have a barbecue or something and not invite us? Seriously? This is sad. Hope you're not trying to hide stuff from us, because that generally doesn't go over very well. <laughs> Relax. Not here for pickup. Good thing. But that day is coming, so you best do whatever you need to. Dig deep. Go the extra mile. Take some risks. We will. Well, we will appreciate that. My apologies for leaving the place a bit of a mess, but we got a litany of other shit to attend to. So do you, I guess. Tick tock. Chop chop. Oh! And Rick. Daryl does turn up here. Two days from now, two months from now, hell, two years from now. Just know there's no statute of limitations on this. Keep that hatchet handy. You're gonna need it if he turns up with you people. And it won't turn out the way it did for your boy. Simon, hello. Right back at you, Gregory, hello. <laughs> ah, I'm a man of shifting specifics of taste and transition. I'm into tequila now. Añejo? Reposado, sipping, mixing. Un mundo de sabor. <laughs> Jen seems like turpentine. It happened quick with a gimlet the other night. I'm an unusual kind of creature. You have a certain somebody, so what you can do for me is point me in their direction. You need a checkup? Probably. It's been a few years, but I'm not here for that. Congratulations. You're moving up in the world. Negan wants you where he is. Why does Negan need two doctors? Well, I think my look may have conveyed the information. People say I have an expressive face. Why do we need two doctors? Answer, we don't. Very, very ugly stuff. My condolences. Hey, you like ice cream? We have ice cream. We have a lady that makes cardamom gelato. Shit you not. Oh, I almost forgot to set that down. <laughs> We're not leaving you high and dry when it comes to medical solutions. No. Oh. take over what crazy idea I hear your concern I'm not insensitive to it mm -hmm. right. if you're having problems of that nature come to see me <laughs> we'll crack open some tequila we'll talk we'll work it out 